Yeah. How are you today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Good. Good. <laughs> I was just uh, wondering if you could explain to us the situation that happened and uh, some of the things you experienced. Uh, I believe it was this past last week that happened. Yes. Um, on April 2nd, mm -hmm. um, the safest place I felt to come mm -hmm. was Cousins MMA. Okay. I knew I was in a room full of ninjas. I came here before the police. Um, my son and I, my child's five, we were basically held hostage by my husband. And after he physically assaulted me two weeks prior, and we got away at the gas station. Mm -hmm. And since then, um, Cousins has been amazing to us. And Coach Charlie and Coach Steve and the award ceremony and Coach John have been awesome to my son and the best male role models he has ever had. Thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate everything that you guys have done for us um, and it's given me the confidence back to be able to fight this battle and go to the police and press charges to the fullest extent. A lot thanks to their bullying training also we know that when somebody hurts you and you tell them to stop and they don't, you tell everyone. Mm -hmm. And this time I'm not afraid to face my attacker. And my son is five years old and he knows that he doesn't have to be afraid either. Absolutely. Um, could you tell us more about uh, uh, the stranger danger and the, the match that chat that we've came had? came at a perfect time. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about God in this. But I believe that was heaven sent um, right at the time that we were going through this all on April 2nd. I believe on April 3rd or 4th, Charlie posted about stranger danger and to have a passcode for your child so that your child knows to only go with those people. And currently there are five people that have a passcode for my son. And he knows who they are and they know what his passcode is. And he knows that they're the only ones he's allowed to go with so that he doesn't have to live in fear, and neither do I. And has this kept him safe in, uh, in at recent? School. At school. Yes, at school. Um, when someone tried to pick him up, they did not have his passcode. He knew he wasn't going to go with them. And the second that I dropped him off at school, the day we made the passcode, he ran up to his teacher and asked, Do you have my passcode? <sighs> That was the first thing he said. So he feels safe at school. He Good. feels safe at Ninjas. And I can't wait to take the self-defense class. All right. Thank you so much for sharing your story. We really appreciate it. And honestly, we're very happy to have you guys. And we're so happy to be able to help you guys in everything. Uh, so thank I you very much. I appreciate all the male attention that my son is getting from here. He does not have a father. And... He's getting strength and love and male attention from here. And I couldn't have asked for a better place. Thank, Thank you, you so much.